Boots was founded in 1981 here in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. We've been in this location uh, in our nice little town here in the mountains ever since. Those early days of Moots were filled with uh, steel frames for about 10 years. And then in 1991, uh, we switched to titanium. We're uh, uh, sold throughout the world, so we're distributing to dealers in the U.S., overseas, and uh, you know, slowly growing our business. Uh, not, not radical by leaps and bounds, but a, a nice slow growth over the years. So here at Moots, it's quite a good bunch of folks building bikes. So we've got 24 full-time employees, and they run the gamut from our miter shop to our welders, to our finish crew, to our CNC department, all the way up to the, the folks that are answering the phone every day and talking to customers. Our philosophies and our uh, thinking with Titanium is always sourcing to start with the best material we can get our hands on. And what that means to us is U.S. source materials. And what that allows us to do is it reassures us that we're building a quality bike that's gonna last a very long time with no compromise. The first steps here at Moots is receiving the material into the mitering room, and then we go and we start mitering or cutting bikes based on the plan. And that plan can look a, a lot like a blueprint from a house. It tells us the exact layout of the bike, the materials that we're gonna select for that bike, and, and then we'll start that process. We double pass weld everything in the building that's titanium, whether it's our stems, seat posts, or our frames. It basically doubles the weld time, but we're taking the time to do it correctly where we're getting this great penetration between the two pieces of material. We're getting an extremely strong bond at those joints, so this, this product lasts a lifetime. and. The byproduct of the double pass weld is this very beautiful stack of dimes, as some people describe it. It takes us longer, it's more sweat, it's more money, it's gonna cost a little bit more to the customer, but in the end, it's, it's the right way to do it. As the years have gone on at Moots, we, in the past, have relied on other machine shops to produce our small weld-on bits and typically that will put you on a wait list and possibly a quality control issue by not doing those in-house. So starting uh, quite a number of years ago, we started moving towards this philosophy of having everything kind of self-contained inside the Moots building. And that required us to build out our own CNC department. And what they're responsible for doing is building all the small weld-ons and even the big weld-ons that go into our bikes. It also opens the door to letting us do a massive amount of prototype work. Our CNC department works really well. We give them a harebrained idea on a napkin and they can design it and you know in a week's time we've got a workable part. On a typical year basis, we're producing anywhere between 12 and 1400 frames, depending on, on the year. Custom-wise, uh, about 20% of that is made up of absolute custom builds. We've got a, an amazing crew throughout the building and a huge passion for cycling, no matter what the discipline is. It's quite uh, amazing to see the smile on their face when they ride away on their dream bike. And that's what it's all about for us, is getting that customer to realize that dream of owning such a nice bike that every time they get on it, they, they couldn't be happier.